Hey, what's up everyone, Ultimatomic HD here, and welcome to a new top 10 list. And just like a certain Yu-Gi-Oh game whose existence I cannot understand or fathom in any sh way, shape or form, uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, each character had its own unique skill which he can use to spice the duel up. And today we'll be counting down the best of those skills in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns and see how they hold up if they were added to the real game. So, without further ado, let's get started! Starting this list off at the number 10 spot, we have Drone Craft Force, a skill used by Blood Shepherd and is only usable with his drone archetype, which is one of the, the few anime exclusive archetypes from Reigns, and that is why it's only on the number 10 spot. Not to mention, the effect is pretty subpar as well, as you, what you get upon activation is that one of your opponent's monsters loses 200 attack for each drone card in your graveyard, and one of your monster gains the attack that the opponent's monster lost. So yeah, pretty basic utility. Continuing on to the number 9 spot, we have Forbidden Surgical Operation. Here we have a slightly more generic skill used by Baira, one of the higher ranked knights of Hanoi. And this skill allows you to banish two level 2 or lower monsters with the same name from your graveyard to special summon two monsters with the same name whose levels equal the banished monsters. A bit more generic, yes, and summoning from deck is always appreciated, but the issue here is that there are very few archetypes based around level 2 or lower monsters. The only examples I can think of at the moment are Splites and Ojamas, so yeah, the skill doesn't have that many good decks to aid. Next up on the number 8 spot, we have Double Bite. This is a skill used by Faust, another high-ranking Hanoi knight, and the skill is super simple as it allows one insect monster to attack twice this turn. Very simple and to the point, and just like with the previous spot, there aren't many singular monsters, let alone archetypes, on which this skill can be used effectively, so its potential remains untapped. On the lucky number 7 spot, we have the Trickstar Fraud. This is the first out of the two skills used by Aoi Zaizen, and this one was used during her time as Blue Angel, and as you can guess from the name, it only works with Trickstars. And as for what it does, it's essentially a slower Trickstar reincarnation, as during your opponent's turn, for discarding a Trickstar monster, you get to have your opponent draw until he's holding 3 cards in his hand, and then during the end phase, the opponent sends cards from his hand to the graveyard equal to the number of different named Trickstars in your graveyard, and unlike Trickstar reincarnation, the skill doesn't let the opponent redraw the same number of cards, so the skill has the potential to wipe the opponent's entire hand in one activity with no other cards needing to assist. This would definitely be a stronger effect if it wasn't so slow, but at least it set up, uh, sets up the graveyard and triggers Licorice's burn effect which can be really chunky with the right build, so at least we have that. Just missing out on the top 5's portion of the list, we have Trickstar Gig. This is the second skill used by Aoi, and this one is from her time as Blue Girl. And this skill also only works with Trickstars, and it allows you to send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard, equal to the number of Trickstar monsters you control, and then you can add a Trickstar monster to your hand that was sent to the graveyard by this effect. This is a much simpler and much more useful effect, as you both get a search and graveyard setup. However, despite their prominent meta relevance, the fact that this skill is only usable with one archetype is very limited, and the reason why they're not higher on the list. Starting off the top 5 portion of the list, we have Preserve Species. This skill belongs to the third of the higher ranking Hanoi Knights, Dr. Genome, and it allows you to halve your opponent's life points and the attack of one of their monsters when a Link monster is special summoned from the graveyard. Considering that 99% of extender based decks use Link monsters, the activation of this skill is super easy to fulfill and it makes it a very potent damage dealer in a way. Helping things along is the fact that some Link monsters have self-recursion effects, giving this skill even more power. 
Making its way to the number 4 spot, we have Secret Cure, a skill used by Emma Besho aka Ghost Girl and it's essentially a beefed up Trickstar gig. For the price of a discard, you get to excavate cards from the top of your deck until you receive a monster, then the monster gets added to your hand, the rest of the excavated cards go to the graveyard and both players gain life points equal to the monster's attack. So this is a trickster gig that searches out any monster from your deck which I think speaks for itself. And ironically enough, in the anime, this effect was mainly used for the life point increase, which honest to god makes me laugh, as Emma wanted to keep Playmaker's life points above 1000 to prevent him from using his skill. So yeah, it's pretty funny how that plays out. Taking the bronze medal of this list, we have Double Draw. This powerful skill is used by one of the most unimportant characters in the whole show, a simple nameless knight of Hanoi. And as for what the skill does, it allows you to draw two cards instead of one during your draw phase when activated. As we all know, card advantage is everything in Yu-Gi-Oh! and just having one additional draw could be game-changing in of itself. Nothing much else here to say besides that it's really good. Taking the silver medal of this list, we have Triple Draw, another powerful skill used by one-off characters, this time the AIA and AIB prototype robots. Now here's where things get interesting. The skill was never used, it was only mentioned by name. It's only such skill in the show, in fact. So, all we can do is speculate. With that said, I highly assume that this is the exact same skill as the last entry, only you draw 3 cards instead of 2. Nothing much else to say here as well, besides that it's a straight upgrade with no downsides. Assumingly, of course. And taking the golden number 1 spot, we have Burning Draw. It should come as no surprise that Soul Burner, the Tritagonist of Reigns, the owner of one of the best structure decks to ever exist, with the archetype it represents, that he also has the best skill as well. You activate it by paying life points so that you only have 100 left. Hmm, that sounds familiar. And then you draw cards for every 1000 life points paid. Simply put, you go plus 7 in card advantage or even start the duel with 12 to or 13 cards in your hand, plus it makes Exodia decks unable to lose essentially. The only major downside is that you are heavily vulnerable with such a small amount of life points, but you should be able to win during the turn you use this, so it shouldn't matter much. And just like that, we are done with yet another top 10 list. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you all so much for watching, stay tuned for more Vizbook tools and updates, comment, like and subscribe, be sure to check out my Patreon when you got the time, maybe drop a few donations if you feel like it, and as usual, I'll upload the next vid whenever I can. So see you all and have a good day. Peace.